Jesus said to his friends one day, I am the way, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the truth, I am the life, I am the life. Be my disciple, come and follow me. Be my disciple, come and follow me. You are the way to a life of peace. You are the way to a life of joy. You are the way to a life of grace. You are the way to my heavenly home. I am the way, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the truth, I am the life, I am the life. Be my disciple, come and follow me, be my disciple, come and follow me. Hello. Welcome to the Children's Liturgy for the 12th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Have you ever eaten with your family in a restaurant? Did you ever see another family there blessing themselves and saying grace before they eat? This is a curious thing to me because in our family, we always say grace before dinner time. We're not always together for breakfast and lunch, so we kind of pray to ourselves. But at dinner time, we're usually together and we bless ourselves and we say grace. Bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts which we are about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. But when we go out to eat at a restaurant, we never do that. I wonder why. Are we afraid? What other people will think? Well, I have seen other families do that. Not many, but once in a while, you'll see a family, their meal will come, and they'll all bow their heads and hold hands or bless themselves and say grace in a restaurant. And I think I'm going to talk to my husband about it because I think we should do it too. We shouldn't be shy about thanking God for his gifts. We should let the whole world know that we are thankful for our gifts. And that would be a good way to start. And it might be a good way for you to start too. We're going to talk about not being afraid to thank God for things today. So let's begin. Raise your hands in prayer and direct your eyes to this table. As you respond, Lord, we place our trust in you. Lord, we place our trust in you. When we feel sad, Lord, we place our trust in you. When we feel hurt or lonely, Lord, we place our trust in you. When we feel afraid, Lord, we place our trust in you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your love and care that are with us throughout each day. Amen. All right, let's light our candle and begin with our first reading from the Bible, the Liturgy of the Word. Jeremiah is feeling sad because his friends have turned against him for obeying God. Even though his friends want to harm him, 
there is one thought that gives Jeremiah courage during this difficult time. Listen closely to find out what it is. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I heard the crowds whisper, everyone's afraid. Tell on him, tell on him. All my friends are waiting for me to make a mistake. They say, he will slip up, then we can trap him and get even at last. But the Lord is with me like a mighty soldier and those troublemakers will stumble, then fall down and fail. They will be forever disgraced and terribly ashamed. Lord, all powerful, you test everyone who does right and you know everything that anyone thinks or feels. Sing praise to the Lord. He rescues the helpless from cruel oppressors. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm today is, Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I pray to you, Lord, so when the time is right, answer me and help me with your wonderful love. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Answer me, Lord, you are kind and good. Pay attention to me, you are truly merciful. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Protect me, God, and keep me safe. I will praise the Lord God with a song. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Ale, 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 The spirit of truth will bear witness to me, says the Lord and you also will be my witnesses. Ale, 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 hallelujah. Jeremiah felt courageous when he remembered that God stood at his side like a mighty soldier. He saw God with eyes of faith. If you listen carefully to the gospel, you will learn how you too can see with eyes of faith. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Don't be afraid of anyone. Everything that is hidden will be found out, and every secret will be known. Whatever I say to you in the dark, you must tell in the light, and you must announce from the housetops whatever I have whispered to you. Don't be afraid of people. 
they can kill you, but they cannot harm your soul. Instead, you should fear God who can destroy both your body and your soul in hell. Aren't two sparrows sold for only a penny? But your father knows when any one of them falls to the ground, even the hairs on your head are counted. So don't be afraid. You are worth much more than many sparrows. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Alle, alle, alle. be afraid of people they can hurt you but God knows what's happening he sees you and you are worth more than many sparrows to him but the sparrows are so important that he knows even when one touches the ground he loves us so much that he even has counted how many hairs are on our heads he knows how many hairs are on your head he will not let anything happen to you. Oh, it might happen on this earth, but you will be in heaven forever. And that's a long time. And you're probably wondering what these are up here. This is my telescope. It's a magic telescope. With this telescope, I can look into eternity. I can see into heaven and to time beyond time. You can have your own telescope. If you have a paper towel tube like this at home, you could decorate it, put your name on it, color it or paint it, use markers, put stickers on it, and then you could have a telescope into eternity. And what would you see? Well, let's see what I see in mine. Oh my goodness, I see a young man. He's about 12 years old. He's in heaven. He's so happy with God. His name is Tarsisius. Tarsisius lived a very long time ago, about mm, 300 years after Jesus died. He lived outside of Rome. And in Rome, 300 years after Jesus died, Christians, people who loved Jesus and tried to live as he did, were killed. The Romans killed them. And so they were hiding. They were afraid. They didn't want to be killed. But they wanted to receive Holy Communion every day. So Tarsisus, being only 12 years old, people thought nobody would suspect that he was a Christian bringing other Christians the Eucharist. So he would go to mass down in this hidden church. It wasn't even a church, it was somebody's home so that nobody would know where the Christians were gathering. And a priest would say mass and then he would give some of the pieces of the consecrated bread we call the Eucharist. They'd wrap it up in a little white cloth and they'd put it in Tarsisius's clothing. And then Tarsisius would take it to the people, other people's houses the ones who were afraid to leave their homes. Well, one day his friends were playing ball. As three over thousands of years, people have been playing ball. So his friends were playing ball. And they said, Tarsisus, come join us. He said, I'll be right there. I've got something to do first. And they said, no, no, come now. And he said, I'll be with you in a minute. I have something to do. So he kept walking. Well, his friends caught up with him. And they said, he has something in his clothing. What is it? 
and they started pushing him and throwing things at him. And finally they knocked him down and they pulled open his shirt. But the white cloth with the beautiful Eucharist that he was going to deliver disappeared. His friends beat him up and he died. He was one of the first saints of the church. And when we look into our magic telescope, we see that he gave his life up for love of God. He wasn't afraid of people. And God saved him for eternal life. Oh, I see somebody else in here. It's a girl. She's also about 12, oh, maybe 14. She's pretty. Why is she in heaven? Oh, I see. It's Saint Maria Goretti. She was a beautiful young girl. She lived not too long ago. Oh, for you, it would seem like a lot, 200 years. Yes, but it doesn't seem that long to me. But anyway, she was a beautiful girl. She lived in Italy and people always wanted her to do things for her because she was one of these generous people who loved God and she wasn't saving her talents like we talked about last week. She shared her talents. So she would sing for the neighbors and she would paint for the children and she would read stories. But then there was this one boy who wanted her to do things for him that she wouldn't do. And so what did he do? He killed her. She gave up her body, but her soul lives in heaven with God forever because she wasn't afraid of people. And she did what she knew was right sharing her talents and letting people know that she loved God. So once there was a little girl who went to school and she had many friends and they used to share their lunches and share their snacks and tell stories and tell secrets. And then one day a new girl came to school and this new girl just didn't fit in. Do you know what I mean? Her hair was not always combed very nicely and her socks didn't match and her clothes were kind of dirty. And so what do you think? The other kids laughed at her. They'd laugh and say, look what she's wearing today. Look, she didn't comb her hair last night. Oh, look at her. So this one little girl that I was telling you about she saw that girl and she felt like Jesus did when he saw the crowd who needed him. And she went over and she said, what's your name? Okay, well, my name is this. And what did you bring for snack today? Oh, you don't have a snack? Would you like to share my snack? And she sat down and she started sharing her snack with her. And the little girl at first, she was very embarrassed that she didn't have a snack and that this girl was being nice to her. but but she started opening up and, and telling her some of the things she liked to do. And, and they, they would do this every day at snack time until they started to become friends. And so I know you're thinking this little girl really was nice to help this other little girl who didn't fit in. But you know what the other girls were saying? The girls who used to be this girl's friend, they were saying, Oh, look at her. She used to be a friend of ours, but now she talks to that girl. Oh, what's wrong with her? She's weird. We don't like her anymore. Do you think that would really happen? I'm afraid it does. But that little girl who reached out to help that other little girl that didn't fit in, she didn't care what people thought. She didn't care what those girls thought. What did she care about? She cared about what God thought. And what do you think God thinks when you do that kind of thing? When you re reach out and help somebody else, what do you think God is thinking? But let's use our magic telescopes and see what God's thinking. He's thinking, I'm saving a place in heaven for her. She's going to spend eternity with me because she's not afraid of what other people think. She just thinks about what I'm thinking. Well, I know another story about a little boy. And this little boy was a very good athlete. He could run and jump and he knew different plays and 
Everybody wanted to play with him when he went out on the playground. But one day he fell, but he didn't just fall a little bit and skin his knee. He fell and he twisted his knee so that he needed an operation. And so they had to take him to the hospital and everybody wrote him cards and sent him best wishes. And he came back in a wheelchair because he couldn't put any weight on that knee. Well, it came time to go out to recess and play and the other kids would go run and play and toss that ball around. But the, the good athlete, he couldn't do it. So he would sit in his wheelchair and everybody forgot about him. He'd go out and watch them play and he just sat there in, in the wheelchair. How do you think he was feeling? Pretty rotten. There were his friends and they didn't have any time to spend with him. They were out having fun and he was healing from his injury and nobody was even talking to him. And then one day, a really shy boy who nobody ever asked him to play with them. Maybe he was different somehow. Maybe he didn't comb his hair. Maybe he had a chipped tooth or something, but nobody asked him to play. And so he saw that good athlete sitting there in the wheelchair with his knee all operated on. And he came over and he started talking to him. And he said, would you like to play chess? And the boy in the wheelchair said, oh, I love chess. And he goes, well, I do too. So he brought out a little chess board and they set it up. And every day when the other kids were out playing, these two boys would play chess together and they got to be really good friends. They went over to each other's houses. They even had an overnight. They had so much fun. They camped out in the backyard. And then this boy's knee healed. And here was a great athlete again. So what do you think he did? Do you think he forgot that friend who played checkers with him when he was injured? Never. They became best friends. So what do you think God thinks about those two boys? Well, let's use that magic telescope to see what he says. God said, I have a place in eternity saved for those two boys. I love them because they're not afraid of what other people think. They just care about what I think. Are you like that? Can you try to think of the mind of God, how much he loves you and how much he wants you to think of others? Like those children we talked about today. That's his plan because he loves you so much. He knows that you can do it. Don't be afraid. Be like Jeremiah with God at his side, like a soldier, you can be brave. All right, well, it's time for our act of faith. So please stand up. To each question, please respond, yes, we believe. Do you believe that God the Father protects you from your enemies and looks on you with love when you are in trouble? Yes, we believe. Do you believe that Jesus, God's son, teaches you to see with the eyes of faith when you are mocked for doing good? Yes, we believe. Do you believe that God, the Holy Spirit, gives you courage when you feel afraid? Yes, we believe. Do you believe that all the members of God's church in heaven and on earth are standing with you when you choose good over evil? Yes, we believe. All right, let's well, sit down and we'll have our prayer of the faithful. Sometimes people turn against us when we do good. But God stands beside us like a bodyguard, protecting us from harm. Therefore, let us pray to our Lord with trust and confidence. Please respond by saying, Oh God, 
hear our prayer after each petition. That our church leaders will always be strong and courageous in opposing evil and doing good. Let us pray to the Lord. Oh God, hear our prayer. That the people of our parish will live the Christian message fearlessly, even when the rest of the world does not agree. Let us pray to the Lord. Oh God, hear our prayer. That friends, messengers, and prophets of God always will feel welcome in our community. Let us pray to the Lord. Oh God, hear our prayer. That my family won't be afraid to say grace before meals in a restaurant. Let us pray to the Lord. Oh God, hear our prayer. And now if you have anyone or anything that you would like to pray for, remember to pray for bravery, do that now. Let us pray to the Lord. Oh God, hear our prayer. Dear God, when you see with the, oh, excuse me, when we see with the eyes of faith, we know that your love is greater than our fear. We thank you, God, for your unfailing love in the name of Jesus, your son. Amen. Well, I expect you to be brave this week and do things that you know God will smile and say, I've got a place for her or a place for him in eternity. You are the truth that helps me see. You are the truth that I must see. You are the truth that stirs my heart. You are the truth that makes us one I am the way I am the way I am the truth I am the truth I am the life I am the life Be my disciple Come and follow me Be my disciple Come and follow me You are the life that calls my name You are the life that gives me strength You are the life that sets me free You are the life that flows in me I am the way I am the way I am the truth I am the truth I am the life I am the life Be my dear